What's up and welcome guys, I'm Sabrina. And I'm Luke and we are Chopstick Travel. So as you guys know, we like to go to authentic street food, local cuisine spots. But today we are actually going to be making an interesting video. We are at the Shanghai Starbucks Roastery Reserve. So this is the biggest Starbucks in the entire world. And we came here the other day and we were just absolutely blown away by the sheer size of this place. So we're gonna take you inside and tell you all about it show you around and definitely sample some of the coffee and some treats. So yeah, let's go inside. Let's go. now and this place is just absolutely humongous it's really popular in here it is 30,000 square feet and two floors and one thing that Starbucks has put into this specific location is something that they're coining augmented reality so if you have the Alibaba app Taobao you can actually just hold your phone up and point it at all different things here in the Starbucks grocery reserve and it will tell you a bunch of information about it so we unfortunately actually don't have that app but make sure if you have that app and you come here to try that out because that sounds really really cool so we're gonna uh, show you around there's just so much to see in here so one of the centerpieces here is this packaging system so it's an automated packaging system the beans are getting roasted upstairs and then they fall downstairs into this really uh, complex looking thing that is packaging in to uh, Starbucks packages to send these beans to all kinds of different locations uh, around China. And it's really cool, you can watch the whole process here. <laughs> One of the many things that makes this Starbucks special are the sweet and savory baked goods by the brand Princi, who is an Italian baker. Guys, check out all the stuff that they have. It's amazing. So as soon as you step inside, right to your right side, there is a massive merchandise area where you can literally find anything Starbucks. A Starbucks poster, a coffee bean jacket, Starbucks playing cards, and of course, all kinds of different Starbucks mugs. Upstairs, they are roasting the coffee beans fresh and they are taking them into this giant copper silo and from that they are following these pipes that you can see in the ceiling all the way around the store to the different coffee bars and there's three in total. So we just came upstairs and downstairs there is the bakery and two coffee bars and then upstairs we have a liquor bar and a tea bar and then another coffee bar. One of the coolest aspects of the upstairs is the 3D printed tea bar. So it's Tivana, uh, the company, and the bar has been 3D printed from recycled materials. So really, really cool. And also, yeah, you can get cocktails and beer and all kinds of interesting stuff upstairs too. Okay, so as you just saw, we witnessed the roasting of some of the beans and then those beans are sent into, as Sabrina explained, that massive copper silo and then transported all around the store. And that's one of the coolest things here. You can see those copper tubes and then some of them are clear too. And they take those beans all kinds of different places. It's really complex. So we've got the uh, menu here and let's kind of show you around what we've got going on here. It's pretty complex too. So as soon as you open up the menu, you can see today's Starbucks Reserve coffee. So these are all the small batch uh, rare coffee uh, roasts for today. And I guess these change every day. And then we've got all kinds of different things going on. Over here is a, a pairing, so you can get all kinds of different coffees. And then we've got all the different brew methods. There's about five different brew methods. And then in here we've got cold brew coffee. Here we've got the liquor, all kinds of different 
coffee infused liquors and wines and beers. And then over here, some special uh, classic espresso drinks with a roastery twist, it says. Um, coffee and ice cream, espressos, and then some other beverages. So that is one extensive menu with a lot of good sounding things. So we're gonna take a little bit and figure out what we want to try today. So we decided on what to order. We went with something that allows us to sample three different kinds of coffee. So we got, um, it's called Origin Flight and we ordered three different kinds and it's prepared using some sort of clover brewing method. I'm not exactly sure what that means, but I ordered a Costa Rican and Ethiopian and a Guatemalan uh, coffee and they're gonna be coming soon. We also ordered this, which looks really, really good. It's a dark chocolate uh, cake with apricot jam on the inside. And I just wanna tell you, uh, that's 196 renminbi. So I guess that's around 35 USD or a little bit less maybe. Uh, I'll put it down below, but a little bit pricey. Our coffee is finished and this is quite the presentation. Check this out here. So we've got three different tiny cups and then we've got our three different cups of coffee as I mentioned. This is the Starbucks Reserve Sun Dry Ethiopian. This is Starbucks Reserve Guatemalan Valmar Estate and this is the Starbucks Reserve Costa Rica High Senta Alciasia. And yeah, they already smell really, really good. I should let you know uh, it's hot coffee. So we're gonna try these out. So these cups are actually already warm, which is nice. Let's start with this Ethiopian brew. So this is the Ethiopian. It says it's supposed to have a lavender aroma with strawberry, orange, and caramel notes. It's a very black looking coffee, so let's try this. Mm. Oh, that's good. Yeah, it is almost like a little bit like fruity, like orange. It's definitely strong tasting black coffee. And I don't know if I can taste any caramel in there. There's not much of a sweetness, but it does almost taste a little bit fruity. It's not very acidic whatsoever. Next up is the Guatemalan. It doesn't look as thick as the Ethiopian one we just tried. And this one says lemon and chocolate notes with honey sweetness. Let's try it. Oh, I like that much more than the last one. That is very acidic. I guess it's sort of like sour, kind of like lemon. But yeah, definitely like acidic, sort of like a tang, zing to it. That's good. I prefer this one so far. Last of the three is the Costa Rican, and this one looks very thick, similar to the Ethiopian one we tried. And this one says, sparkling acidity balanced by citrus and milk chocolate flavors. Let's try it. Oh, I'd say that one's like perfectly right in the middle between the two. It's got a little bit of an acidic flavor to it, but it's also kind of chocolatey like that first one. But I'd still have to say I think the Guatemalan one was my favorite. I like a really strong coffee like that Guatemalan. This is really cool. It's, it's really interesting to see uh, like a stark difference between all these different coffee beans. Just the process of uh, roasting them and where they come from, their origin. And it tastes a lot different. It's almost like you're tasting a complete different drink. But these are all really good. I'd have to say thumbs up for the Guatemala, and that's my favorite. Okay guys, now we are going to try our chocolate and apricot cake. I am super excited to eat this. I am a chocolate lover, so let's try this. Oh my god, that looks so good. Oh wow, that's not too chocolatey. So for people that don't like too sweet, that's actually all right. And the apricot jelly has a little bit of a sourness to it, so that tastes actually really nice. And I'm gonna chase that down with my favorite blend, which was Ethiopian coffee. I liked it because it wasn't too acidic. Oh, that's a nice snack. Enjoying our coffee tasting and our chocolate cake and 
Guys, like, like even look at this spoon. This is a copper spoon. Starbucks is so extra. Everything in here is extra, but really, you gotta come here if you're ever in Shanghai. It, it's surprisingly fun to just kind of explore this place. It's like a, a museum and a bar and a coffee shop and all kinds of different things. Really cool. Okay, guys, that's it for our video on the Starbucks Reserve Roastery Shanghai China. We had a really fun time making uh, this video and it was a really cool Starbucks. I definitely recommend you come check it out even if you're not going to drink any coffee or buy anything. You know, it's like a museum in there. It's so cool. There's so much to see. It's really just a fun time. You could spend certainly an hour or more in there. So there's a few things I wanted to mention. One is that there was a lot of coffee in that origin flight that we bought. I think you could share that. Four or five yeah. people. <laughs> Four people, definitely. Um, there was a lot, it was good. The coffee was really good. It wasn't like Starbucks coffee that I've had before. Yeah. And uh, certainly you pay for part of the experience too. The other thing I wanted to mention is we don't actually ever go to Starbucks. We always like to get our coffee from somewhere cheaper or somewhere is, you know, more local to support some smaller coffee shops. But this is an exception. This place is really, really cool. It's like a landmark tourist attraction here in Shanghai now. And as I mentioned earlier, this has been only open for a, a little over three months. It's March 2018 now. So definitely come check it out if you're ever in Shanghai. Um, let us know what you think of this video. We wanted to experiment and maybe we'll make more uh, interesting videos like this or, you know, do you want us to just go back to straight street food? That's okay too. We still got a lot of videos coming from China. Um, yeah, that's it I guess. Thanks for watching. Make sure to hit the subscribe button. Leave us any comments. Hit the like button too. And uh, we'll see you on the next one.